All right, um, I'm just here to show off my um, modding proposal for an automatic, uh, automatic updater. Uh, so far, it's written in GTK under C Sharp, so you know that's kind of all I know. Uh, the back end, I'll show you that first. Basically, there's a repo name and a URL, which I've actually just got in this folder here, that searches from this mods.txt. There's a mods per one line and you must have a folder that name the same thing. In that folder you'll have the file name and the SHA sum and those sums go in these objects directory. So that's probably not the sim most simple thing but I'll show you how it works. Oops, if I was in the right folder. Uh, when you first start it it just it doesn't really do anything, it just has enabled mods. Uh, if I can, there it is. So you have to update the repo list. If I go update mod list, it's not going to do anything because I haven't selected a repo. So that enables that repo. Go to mods, update mod list. It found dark multiplayer. So what it's done is it, it's looked in here, searched through this, gone through this repo, and looked into this mods folder now. So you enable the mod, go update mods. All mods updated. Oh, what it's done, sorry, is it put it in there. So, that's it, it's, it's already downloaded it and got it. I'll show you that again. So, get rid of that. Update mods. Bang. It's the most ugliest program in the world, but it's a start. And it, it, it should be... Ex uh, extendable with this type of setup. If you have more repos in here, oh you can actually edit this file directly too. So I'll show you that. Uh, enabled repository list. Actually I think spaces will be supported. Why not? Actually, this does matter. Hmm. We'll try that. It'll probably crash, but we'll see. And if I don't enable it, it should probably be fine. Oh. There you go, some other repo. This will probably crash it. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's a simple proposal. It should work, mostly. Uh, the only thing is, is that you have to have a repo kind of set up to the correct. Ah, where are we? KSP repo. You have to kind of have a repo set up with this. Um. Oh, it, it's also dependent on a metadata file, but you can edit that locally. But you definitely need this mods.txt, and for every single mod line you need to have a folder with index.txt listing the objects which is in the objects folder anyway that's all um it's a proposal uh, proposal but it's you know it, it could do with some editing 